Hey everybody, Paul Barry Family Friendly Gaming, and this is FFG Chronicles on Wasting Time. You might be like, whoa, are you going to be attacking video games and say that we waste your time with video games? Chill, relax, chillax, not there, not going there with this video. This video is going to be about something I've seen recently from uh, people in PR. They, uh, they like to send you the same press release every day for like 10 days straight. And they think that their, their thought process is, well, if I just keep sending it to you and I keep being obnoxious and, you know, just wasting your time, that you'll just go ahead and, and publish my story. That you'll spend money on publishing my story. Here's the deal. That's not how we think. That's not how I think. How I think is, oh, look, I've seen this before, delete. I'm serious, I just immediately, instantly say, delete. I don't even give it any more thought, any more time. I'm like, gone, done. So they keep doing this. And the funny thing to me, to me this is like really kind of funny. They, um, they even send it to you after you've published it. So what do they think? Like five days in a row you're gonna publish the same story? I'm like, no, that's not gonna happen either. You know, I've, if we decide to publish it one day, we're done with it. We're, you know, it's it's in the past. We're looking for new and different stories to spend our money on publishing. And part of the reason why this happens is the people in PR have zero respect for press, zero respect for our time, zero respect for our money, zero respect for all the work we do for them. Same with this. When you look at the, the flow process, so you got a company. They hire a PR and marketing firm. In fact, that's, not, that's an interesting little point that in their titles it say PR and marketing, but whenever you ask them for any marketing, it's like, oh, I'm just PR. So they will lie to you repeatedly, the people in PR and marketing. In fact, my experience with them is, you know, I'd say 90, 90, 90 to 95% of them lie all the time, consistently, constantly. And so when you kind of go, well, this is part of the, we talk about the corruption in the video game industry needs to be cleaned up. The swamp that needs to be drained in the video games. This is part of it. So um, they have no respect for us. No respect for our time. No respect for our money. Because they don't. it doesn't cost them anything. See, they get a company that hires them to get exposure for their game. And in essence, to make them lots of sales. So then what they do is they will say whatever to get us to publish their story. They will promise the moon and gear I guarantee you they will never ever deliver because they haven't my history you know the history I've had in the video ministry they make all these flowery promises and they don't deliver so I say okay fine this is who you are this is how you act from there we we spend our money promoting their products which in turn makes the clients, the original client, all kinds of sales and they make all this money off of the hard work we do. Now bear in mind, they don't compensate us. We get zero from them. The people in PR, bear in mind, they're slimy little snakes. They try to claim that they made them all that money and they keep us out of it. They, they pretend like we stopped existing after we did all that work and made them all this money. And so then, they'll get all kinds of bonuses from the company and stay employed. So when we say, no, we're not going to spend our money on your products, it can hit their pocketbook. They can be like, oh, wait a minute, I'm going to lose money. So then they decide, well, we're just going to waste your time because they have, you know, like I said, they have nothing to invest in that. T to them, it's always, it's, if they get something, it's a gain. If they don't get something, they have to try to go to someone else and try to get it for them. So they'll waste our time all day long. And I've noticed there's been a kind of a, um, an uptick on this recently happening. But you know what? I kind of smile, I laugh, and I think, huh, when I see the same story over and over and over again, I just delete it. I just ignore it. I say, hmm, nice. Someone else may delete and clean up. You know, they, they might, you know, their intent is to waste a lot of my time. And all they're wasting really is a second or two. Because I've learned to, to just kind of ignore uh, the repetitive nature where they seem to 
think of themselves all the time and they completely ignore us. So if you have any you know comments about this, your, your you know questions or whatever, please leave a comment below. I'd like to thank everyone for your uh, donations, your likes, your subscriptions. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.